That is right, Java Minecraft players. Today, I'm gonna show you how to basically get the physics mod working, potentially, on your Android device. You don't believe me that this is working? Well, you can see the waves flashing around, splashing around, flying around, and also watch this. Let's go over to these trees over here and let's take a big whack out of this one right here. Before we do anything in this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I want this channel to reach 100 million subscribers before my birthday in January of 2026. I highly doubt that's gonna happen. But hey, somebody can dream, right? Whoa, uh, my name's not Dream, but that was a lot of uh, physics mods going on in one go. So let's jump in and learn how to set this up. And I'm gonna tell you one big thing before we do this. You need to actually become a Patreon member to the developer of Physics Mod Pro. That is the very first thing you need to do. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to download the patch files that I supply you. And those patch files are going to be in the form of a zip. And you're going to extract them. I don't care what file manager you use for this. You can use ZArchive or you can use your regular file manager, whatever the case may be. You need to extract these two files right here. The other thing is you need to take note that the device I'm using is called the Odin 2. It has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. This is the lowest device that I've tested so far. So if it doesn't work for you and it's very laggy or buggy, then I'm sorry, then it's not gonna work. I've also only tested this from 120.1 to 121.5 so far. I tried it on 1.21.10, but the water graphics were not rendering in. But if you want to turn off the water waves and all that kind of stuff, then it still does work. It just doesn't work with the waves. So I've tested it with Forge and Fabric. This works fine if you follow this entire video. The next thing you need is Z Archiver. I know I did a video recently about not using Z Archiver, which was mostly just telling you not to use it for like basically transferring anything into the Android data system. So if anybody comes here and says, oh, why did you tell me not to use this? And now you're telling me to use it. Well, that's because we need it for this next step, which involves you to basically have the Pro version of the mod. And I'm only gonna be using Forge 1.20.1 today. I've tested with Fabric too, but you need to make sure you pay attention to actually the entire thing, or this might not work for you if you don't pay attention. So as you can see here, I have the DE and PhysX folders right here. We need those, but how are we going to do this? So we're going to long press on this Physics Mod Pro file, which is downloaded again from Patreon after you've paid for the Patreon membership. Rename this to a .zip file, just like so. Like, okay. Now highlight these two files right here. So click on these two, and then you're going to basically just copy these two files. So click on the checkbox, and then long press and copy. Now you're gonna navigate into that physics mod pro that you created as a zip file, and you're going to paste those right here. Now you should have those two files overwrite everything else, they shouldn't, interfere or create new folders or anything like that go back out now rename that dot zip back to a dot jar file and go like this click ok and now it's a jar file again so we're going to be using the forge again so go back into zealoth launcher now we're going to install a forge instance so 1.20.1 forge the latest version and then rename it to whatever you want i'm going to name this physics forge just like so, and click download. There we go, now let's go select that instance that we just created, which is right here. Click on the settings icon, go to mod management, click on the plus icon beside the download icon, and then you're gonna navigate into wherever you had that downloaded basically jar file, which is right here, and import it. Click home, and then launch the game. Make sure you're using mobile glues as well as the renderer, that's the renderer that I told you guys to set up in the very first video. Anything above 1.17, you should be using mobile glues regardless. Even if you're not using mods, I think you should just use mobile glues because it renders a lot better than OpenGL 4ES. 
So now that we are in this menu, see so you can see the options menu here for physics settings. You can turn off certain things. You can even turn off the ocean waves and all that kind of stuff if you want to. Dynamic blocks, projectiles, all that kind of stuff. It's all up to you what you want to basically turn on and off. It does help with actually um like the actual rendering and stuff like that so up to you my video settings i have them set to fast right now but i'm going to turn down a couple things just so that this will load in better i'm going to turn up certain things maybe turn this to five six chunks whatever um i'm sure six chunks will be fine as well it just depends on your device entity distance i'm going to turn that down to 75 and i think that's good enough for now now, I'm not using sodium or anything like that. I haven't tried this with sodium mods or anything like that either. I just tested this out with just vanilla Minecraft and without any Optifine or anything like that as well. So if it doesn't work with Optifine or anything, then that's something of your own testing to see if you can get it to work. But again, I've only tested this just this way. I, mean, I know a lot of people just want to play with physics mod just to mess around with it and stuff. I don't know if you want to play with it all the time, but up to you what you do after you watch this video. I've showed you what I've done to get this to work and it does work, I promise you that. Let's dig out this block right here. Maybe it doesn't even physically drop. Oh, it does, there it goes, perfect. Now, of course we land in a biome that sucks. Let's go over here maybe, here's some sand. Yeah, everything is just breaking physically, that's it. Hope that was helpful, and I will try to answer questions if you have any. If you didn't follow this video or you said, hey, it didn't work, well, that just means that you didn't try. Have a nice day. Enjoy playing with the physics mod. And I got permission from the basically Patreon developer to share how I did this. So hopefully uh, this works out great for you.